Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope you are doing good. Um, today, inshallah, I'm gonna explain some kind of uh, uh, influential theories. The theory is called bioecological uh, model. <clears throat> of course, as you know, it's uh, uh, created by the scientist uh, Yuri Braun von uh, Berner. Um, he is the main developer of this model. Um, he created the theory and he, it, it, I mean this theory depends on uh, four primary components. Uh, the first one is processes, it, it refers to interactions between uh, uh, the man, the subject and the other people around him. The other one is the person himself, the personality, physical appearance, uh, uh, inherited IQ, etc. Uh, number three is context. It, it means it refers to the, the, the context around the person himself, like home, school, work, uh, the community, the general condition of the country he lives in. And uh, 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 number four is time. Time during a process. Uh, it's like length of process, what happened at that time, is he living in the First World War, or is he living during a, a time of pace, no war. So these are the four main uh, 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 components of this theory. It's actually it's an influential theory. theory. <clears throat> uh, he realized that he was omitting a very important element in human development. He the person i mean he, he was paying attention to the person the character of the person himself uh bro uh, sorry bronfen uh, berner his name is a little long uh, created a more comprehensive model it's the bioecological model and this developmental psychology model holds that human development is influenced by the previously mentioned four uh, uh, components um, let me tell you that the bio, uh, bioecological model of human development can be applied to both children and maturing adults and is thus a lifespan approach because it talks about the whole lifespan of a human being or a person. Uh, the framework emphasizes the importance of understanding uh, bidirectional influences between individuals' development and their surrounding environmental context. According to this bioecological model, in contrast to his earlier models, <clears throat> uh, the bioecological uh, model proposed a new method of conducting research, which was heavily influential developmental psychology and is still considered relevant uh, uh, today. Let me talk about the different the, the main parts of this third uh yuri is the, is dividing this this uh, uh, theory into different circles starting from the smaller one which is around the child it keeps going bigger 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 big starting from his own home his own family and ending at the, the general time at his country and uh, the, 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 the circumstances of his country is it living in welfare or having depression or whatever right it starts from the smallest the smallest circle he called it microsystem the microsystem is the system closest to the person as i told you it's like circles and each circle is bigger so this is the smallest one it's around the kid himself it is the closest the closest to the person and the one in which they have direct contact like his parents for example some examples would be home school daycare or work a micro system typically includes family peers or caregivers Relationships in microsystem are bi-directional. Okay, it, it goes in two directions. And uh, your actions, in other words, 
Your actions to the people in microsystem will affect how they treat you in return. That's why we call them in, uh, bi-directional. Or as, as, as Newton says, every action has a reaction. So it is the same thing. It's bi-directional behavior. This is the most influential level of the ecological systems uh, theory. The bigger one is the meso system. The next level of the ecological system theory is meso system. The meso system consists of the interactions between the different parts of a person's micro system. For example, the home, the school, the, or the daycare, uh, work. The interaction between these people is the meso system. Uh, it is where a person is individual, microsystems do not function independently. Each one depends on the other one. Both are interconnected and assert influence upon one another. These interactions have an indirect impact on the individual. Let's move to the next level, which is, which is called... Uh, uh, I think someone is stealing a car or something. <laughs> anyway. Exosystem. The exosystem refers to a setting that does not involve the person as an active participant, but still affects him. It means he is living here, he doesn't affect the, 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 the environment around him, but he gets affected by what's going on around him. Uh, this includes decisions that have bearing on the person but in which they have no participation in the decision-making process. For example, his parents made the decision to move to another country or to leave the work or to get a promotion. If he got a promotion, the kid gets affected positively. If he got fired, for example, he got affected uh, negatively. So this means he got affected, but he doesn't affect. He, he doesn't even participate in making this decision. Let's move to the higher level, which is chrono system. So, uh, URI also includes time. You know, chrono is like the word chronicle, it refers to time. So, the chrono system in this model, it is an important component in the way that people and environments change or rather a person's development. It's important because it affects person's life. In other words, the person who lives at time of wars or depression does not have the same as the one who lives at time of peace or uh, good economics. Okay, so quickly again, we said the first one is microsystem, smallest one. The next one is mesosystem, exosystem, macrosystem, and chronosystem. Okay? As I told you, quick review, the micro is the one around him. Meso system is the one that's bigger. The interaction between the micro system components. Exosystem, it refers to the setting in which this place or this, these, these incidents happen. The macro system it is the one before the time. And the, the micro system encompasses the cultural environment in which the person lives and all other systems that affect them. You know, each country, each tribe,